So if you don't know who Bryant is, well, you're probably better off not. Just kidding, because we have to bring awareness to the dark and sketchy side of LA's most famous photographer. So if you don't know who Brian is, he is a famous photographer on social media. His passion for photography started over a decade ago, and over time he's managed to build a massive following. But what really boosted his career was during the time when TikTok started getting notoriety. With TikTok stars like Charlie D'Amelio, Addison Rae, Noah Beck, and much more, living in Los Angeles and having a decent credibility in photography really helped Brian to be able to access clients and connections with some of the most popular TikTok creators at the time, and even James Charles. Plenty of TikTokers would share their photos tagging Brian all over their Instagram, and he really started to build a name for himself at large scale. Brian slowly built close relationships with many of these TikTok and YouTube stars over time, and it only catapulted his following even further. I mean, this photographer is on his way to 10 million followers now, but it wasn't until Brian's photography career went completely south in June of 2020. Brian had been accused of soliciting new pictures from an aspiring model back in 2012, where Bryant would ask this young girl to directly send him photos of her in a black bra and underwear. Bryant is currently 31, which is important to the story later on, as you'll see how his behavior hasn't changed much, but this specific occurrence took place when Bryant would have been 19. Here are the messages between us on Tumblr in 2012. My username is Briefcase Money, his being Bryant, obviously. Because he was just starting to get recognized, it was easy to contact him. He posted about taking photos of followers. The aspiring model reached out and said, hello, I'm responding to your post about shooting followers while taking their picture to make it short. I'm a six foot three girl who's been trying to find a modeling agency that would want someone so tall, and I'd be honored to have someone like you take my picture. I love everything in all your pictures, and with that, have a nice day. Bryant responded saying, I'd love to take your photos. Six foot three, whoa, that's amazing. Amazing. Could you possibly email me some photos of yourself in a simple black bra and black underwear? Front, side, back photos. They can be taken with your iPhone. I want to show some of my agency connections your photos to see if they're looking for someone like you. Let me know if you're interested. She said, ah, I am unable to right now, but I will by midday tomorrow. I understand if you won't be able to look at them or whatever because of the amount of messages. Bryant responds saying midday tomorrow is fine. Would it be easier for you to just text them to me? Well then, of course, I'll do it then. Where can I send it or what email can I contact you at? He then sends over his email and says, can you send them now? I'm currently dealing with over 300 plus messages. The girl responds saying yes if it's not a hassle. He says yes, text me right now, giving his phone number. And here's where the girl, rightfully so, addresses a little bit of unease. As anyone would when they're being asked to send these specific photos directly to him. I am very interested. However, is it possible to just send the pictures clothes? I'm not wearing anything extravagant. I just feel a little uneasy about sending photos like that. If it is absolutely necessary, I will do what I can. I appreciate the offer so much. Thank you. Bryant responds saying, agencies typically want to see photos like these because they want to see your body figure and height. At this point, it is necessary. But yes, of course, do what you can. You deserve to be signed. And here Here's the part that's gonna shock you. The girl tweets out saying, after he gave me his number, I texted him the bra and panties pictures. He then asked for nude photos because agencies expect you to for jobs. I don't have the screenshots because it was my iPhone 4, which I don't have access to anymore. Here is my nude photo linking to him. Back when the story was getting a lot of attention on social media, the girl also came forward to press to say once he received the nude photo, I never heard back from him regarding modeling or anything at all. He never asked my age or confirmed it. His Twitter is at Brian Eslava. I can't be the only one this happened to. Though he promised to show her photos to his agency connections, quote unquote, the girl stated that she never heard from him again after he received 
received her alleged naked pictures. Now, I think we can all agree that right off the bat, this could have been handled in a much better way had he given the agency contact to the girl directly to send her modeling photos to. I'm not sure as a 19 year old what made him think this was okay, but especially someone with a huge following, you would think they would know better. But something about Brian asking her to send photos of her in a black bra, front, side, and back, and underwear, and giving his number and everything just sounds so wrong and off putting, and it really made people question the authenticity of whether Bryant was actually going to send these photos to a supposed modeling agency for the girl who is naive and putting her trust in him since he had all these followers, fame, and power. How could he do something like that, right? Well, as this started getting more attention, and as people were calling out Bryant for this, he obviously couldn't just let this brush under the rug, and he came out and confirmed he did solicit racy pictures from girls on Tumblr. Following the accusations, Brian took to his Twitter to address and apologize for his previous actions. In a lengthy statement, he tried to justify saying that he was a teenager at the time who was looking to get into the fashion industry and that when his Tumblr following started increasing that he admitted that he liked the attention he was receiving, especially from girls. Which is sick. Pure disgusting. Mind you, he was 19 at the time. I'm sure most 19 year olds know better. He should have known better than to take advantage of these young girls and he knew exactly what he was doing because this was what his statement said. A few days ago, some screenshots resurfaced from my Tumblr blog from 2012. I wish that I could say these screenshots were fake because of how embarrassing they are, but they aren't and I wanted to take some time to address them head on. When I first started in photography eight years ago on Tumblr, I wanted to get into the fashion industry. I was a teenager who had just started to grow a following for the first time on social media and I was excited about the attention that I was getting from other photographers and quite honestly, girls. A few people came to me wanting to shoot together and I did ask girls to send me racy photos. Before I say anything further, I want to apologize to the girls I was in contact with for making them feel uncomfortable or hurt by asking them for these photos. I'm very sorry. I'm not proud to admit it, but it took me a few years to realize how inappropriate and wrong this behavior is. <laughs> that's funny because you guys are going to find out how he actually felt about his behavior and whether he's actually changed or not in just a bit, which is exactly what he's getting called out for currently. This is when I stopped my behavior and when I switched my career path to focus on influencer photography. Although I am disappointed in myself and my past actions, I am proud to say that they are not a representation of who I am today. I have learned and grown so much as a photographer, but more importantly, a person. I have made some amazing friends in this industry throughout the year many have reached out saying things like, we know who you really are and we love you, and of course that means a lot to me, but I realize that I haven't done a great job of showing my followers and community who I really am, and this honestly has been a wake-up call. I want to prove to all of you that I'm not the same person I was in the past. I'm committing to learning and growing each day and treat my clients, followers, and aspiring collaborators with the utmost professionalism and respect. It's important to note that this statement has now been deleted and completely wiped off from his platform, which is also very telling. It's like, was this actually a genuine apology after all and a genuine accountability take after all? I'd leave that up to you guys. Another girl also spoke out about being in a similar situation to the Twitter user who initially shed light on Bryant's dark and disturbing behavior. Hey, I have a story to tell you about this um, filter that I'm using by someone named Bryant. You know, Bryant Eslava. In 2020, he was actually called out for soliciting new photographs from people that he followed on Tumblr. And if you don't believe me, here's proof. After being accused of soliciting new photographs from his Tumblr fans, Eslava issued a lengthy apology on his Instagram. Except he probably forgot that he did that to me in 2012, so he must have missed the memo where he still owed me an apology. Here's a screenshot of an email I got when he sent me the Dropbox that he lovingly entitled Sarah X. Bryant of pictures that he solicited from me in 2012. Bryant had eight years to change. When he did that to me, he did it in 2012. His statement was put out in 2020 after he was held accountable for his actions. I have a hard time believing that he was able to change in two years after he had eight years to sit with his actions and did nothing about it. If you go through his social media, if you go through his TikTok, if you go through his Instagram, you can see that he's still taking photographs of women, young women, influencers, anyone who is the face of the digital age nowadays, and that's a really scary thing to think about. 
I'm not here to cancel anybody. I'm not here to beg for a 10 year overdue apology. Um, I'm just here to tell you guys that you have to be wary of who you follow on social media and who you give a platform to. So you think after three full years that Brian actually held himself accountable and changed for the better with regards to what many think is his predator behavior. But no. The reason Bryant has been under controversy, especially more recently, again, was because of this Reddit thread. Apparently, Bryant is in a new relationship with an 18-year-old girl, all while this man is 31. And boy, are people calling him out and expressing how they feel about this. Bryant has been creepy since the day he was in the spotlight. It just got glossed over when he started getting popular again for the photo booth. For those who don't know, he has a photo booth business and we're going to be getting into that in a bit as well because it's also a bit creepy. This Reddit thread read, why are we forgetting and not talking about Bryant being a whole ass not even alleged MF was coercing young women for nudes like he admitted to it and everyone swept it under the rug and completely moved past it as if nothing happened. Everyone who works with him still after everything is a weirdo and he needs to be looked at closely because literally WTF. His girlfriend being 18 is disgusting. He's a effing weirdo gross ass MF oh my god. T Talk Talk did post about this and it seems like this is his new girlfriend you guys. I mean you can just see the baby face in her and they there's him. But this all doesn't surprise me because a couple of years ago, Brian was called out for the types of photos he'd take of his underage clients, many labeling them as inappropriate, sexualizing, as a man in his 30s. The YouTuber Jakey Doolittle made a video pointing this out and he compiled some of the strange interactions Brian would make publicly about his fans and also shared some of the photos he'd take of his underage clients. Check it out for yourselves. I'm going to blur faces and certain parts of the photos, but I'm going to say the age of the person that's in the photo and how old Bryant was when he took this. The model's 15, Bryant was 22. From left to right, 17, 15, 16, 18. Bryant was 28. Same here. In this, the model is 17, Bryant was 28. From left to right, 17, 16, 15, Bryant was 28. In this, the model is 17, Bryant was 28. 17, 28. 17, 28. So, so how can you say that you stopped this behavior and switch your career path when it doesn't seem like you have? You're still shooting for girls in next to nothing, except these girls are mostly all underage. Going back a little bit, even the interactions with his fans are more than most influencers or influencer photographers would usually have. This was tweeted in August of 2015, him hugging a fan just saying, you, okay. I'm 21 years old and if I met someone who supported me, I wouldn't post this photo and say, you. This was a deleted tweet from Bryant's account saying, heart these Bryant girls. And there are a bunch of different fan pages. It just seems off. Apparently, Bryant also used to have a studio in a bedroom in his house. And it seems like this has been overlooked by a ton of people throughout all these years as well. But it seems like he has now rented out a spot both in New York and Los Angeles for his photo booth business, which definitely is not as creepy as having your clients come over to some bedroom in your house so you can take photos of them. Them, allegedly. But I want to know what you guys think about Bryant the photographer. He is a very, very popular photographer. So I definitely want to know your take on his dark side and how you feel about his new purported girlfriend who is 18 years old. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I love to know. I love you guys so much. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.